Kia ora, what's up, what's going on? Welcome to my channel. We will be exploring the differences in the Xbox 360 motherboards. As you can see here, I have two fat Xbox 360s and two slim Xbox 360s. So we identify them easily by its power socket and its power rating as I am pointing out here on the fats and over on the Xbox 360 slims you can see there the power sockets are the same it's just the power ratings will be different so let's take a closer look so first off I have a FAT360 I am comparing its power supply socket and its power rating so it has a rating of 12 volts and 16.5 amps I compare that to this chart over here and I can see there where it says 12 volts 16.5 amps so it's non HDMI because I've had a look on the back of it there is no HDMI port so it's either a Xeon or Exynon or an Alpus motherboard next up is another FAT360 as you can see there the power socket is different and also the power rating it has a power rating of 12 volts and 12.1 amps so we compare that to the diagram we go over there to 12.1 amps so it's either a Jasper or a Tornoskit next up is the Xbox 360 Slim as you can see there the connectors for these are all the same except for the Xbox 360e and as you can see there it has a power rating of 12 volts and 10.83 amps so we compare that to the chart so this is a Trinity and finally the other Xbox 360 slim again the power sockets are all the same exception of the power rating which is 12 volts at 9.6 amps so it's either a Corona or a Waitsburg to be certain on what motherboard you have the only option you have is to strip down the entire Xbox 360 and look at the motherboard Now that I have removed the motherboard from the chassis or the case I can take a look at the coils on this fat Xbox 360 and I can see that it requires one more or it can fit one more which tells me it is 100% a Jasper motherboard. I have also stripped down the two Xbox 360 slims to take a look at the NANDs as you can see there this is a 4GB NAND as I am comparing it to the picture and this is the other one it is a 16 megabyte NAND as you can see there I will leave a link to this website in the description this will help you flick through and partly identify what you may have so if you're looking at purchasing an Xbox 360 on Facebook or Trade Me or anywhere else and you want to know what the motherboard is unfortunately you're only going to know half the story like I said, you need to obtain the console and open it up. Word of warning, if you're going to purchase Xbox 360s, do not buy them if they have the red ring of death or the red dot. Because if you are a noob and you don't know how to repair them, that is more or less rubbish to you. So just thought I'd let you know. So if you've learned something today, please like and subscribe. Chat.